So far we have seen how to convert a hexagon or a pentagon into a square of equal area. Now we'll be looking at a figure whose sides are not straight line segments, but uh, they are just two arcs bearing a certain relation that we'll see later. And this shape resembles a crescent then. So this shape is therefore called as the loon. So we'll be starting with the loon, doing some geometric constructions and transformations, and finally reaching this square whose area will be exactly same as the loon that we started with. So let us start by constructing this loon. For that, we'll be taking this circle. We'll be drawing two diameters which are perpendicular to each other. We'll join the ends of these diameters to get this segment. And then the midpoint of that segment uh, as the center or this segment as a diameter, we'll be drawing a circle. Now these two circles together will be forming the loon that we were talking about. So what is the relation between the dimensions involved? Well, look at this right angle triangle formed. Two of its sides are the radii of this bigger circle. So this is an isosceles right angle triangle. So in that case, if one side is radius and this side is a radius, then the hypotenuse is going to be root two times the radius of this circle. Let's mark those dimensions. So if the radius of this circle is say 100, then this hypotenuse would be root 2 times 100. But that is the diameter of this smaller circle. So the radius will be half, which will be 100 upon root 2. The smaller circle is root 2 times smaller in terms of the radius. Now, whenever the linear dimension is smaller by a factor, the area will be smaller by square of that factor. If this circle is smaller by root 2, then its area would be smaller by 2. So the area would be half. Uh, let's show that relationship. So the area of the small circle would be equal to just half of the area of the bigger circle. And we can write a series of such uh, relationships. Suppose we take half the area so of the smaller circle, it will be equal to only quarter of a larger circle. Now this semicircle here and this quarter circle here are featuring in this diagram also. In fact, we can combine these two and get what we are looking for, the loon. So let's see that construction now. So I'll be copying say, this quarter of a circle over here. Then I'll copy this semicircle. I'll place it here. Mind you, these two shapes, although they are different, their areas are equal. Then to get the loon, I'm going to take this shape, the semicircle, and rotate about this point so that this end of its diameter exactly sits here. This is their overlapping area. Let me get rid of it. So this area. So I have subtracted this area from the semicircle. I have subtracted this area from this quarter circle. If we had equal areas to start with, even after subtraction, the areas are bound to remain the same. So let us actually uh, confirm that. We'll measure these areas. So I'll start the area tool and uh, measure this area. It turns out to be 5000 square millimeters. And if I click here, it is still 5000 square millimeters. Now this is interesting. This complicated looking figure and we would expect, oh, it will involve something like pi or something is actually equal to in terms of area to this simple triangle. And once we have triangle, uh, we are in business. We can convert it into a rectangle. We can convert that into a square and so on. Let's do that now. Let us start by copying this triangle over here. Then I'll be folding this triangle into a rectangle. For that, I'll be drawing a line parallel to this altitude here. And then I'll be drawing a line from the midpoint of the height up to this line here. And then we'll be folding this triangle into a rectangle so that its area would remain the same. So I'll take this vertex and fold it to this point. So the areas we can confirm of this triangle, which was 5000, and this rectangle, which is 5000 again, are equal. Now this rectangle will convert into a square. For that, we need to rotate this rectangle about this point so that this base comes and sits vertical like this. Then we'll be drawing a circle with this as the diameter. And wherever the circle intersect this vertical line to the base is the side of the square that we are looking for. So let's draw that now from here to here. For clarity, I'll just move it aside like this and measure its area. So that turns out to be 5000 square mm as the loon itself. The loon is here. We 
can measure its area it's 5000 and the square it's again 5000 here is a quick recap we started with two circles one large and one small so that their areas were in the ratio 1 is to 2 then we took half of the smaller circle quarter of the larger circle which would give us the same area and subtracted this identical shapes from both of them in one case we got this crescent shape called the loon in the other we got the triangle resulting areas are still the same then we converted this triangle into the rectangle and using this construction we converted the rectangle into the square ultimately and finally a bit of history before we go uh, this particular shape the loon uh, was known to the ancient Greeks and its equivalence to this triangle was established by Hippocrates he lived in 470 to 410 BC so it's quite ancient this is really remarkable that uh, this equivalence should be established so early